Hey guys, it's Loot Nerd here, and got another YouTube account. He's gonna hurl. And can, you turn, can you turn around? I want to see that. <laughs> it's got it's Loot Nerd. The guy Wait, what is he puking in anyway? No. Is he puking down some stairs or something? No, I think he's puking on the. I think he's puking on the mattresses. Oh, take advantage of the hospitality. You're a great guy. You're so, a great guy. So it's Loot and Nerd. Guy. So it's Loot and Nerd. What the? Wait, what? Mash X. Hooray! Oh, <laughs> How long does this last? Infinite fun! So kicking a suitcase allowed... Oh man. Let's keep kicking it anyways. <laughs> Kick that suitcase. You put a burn suitcase! I've never seen... I've never done that actually. I was wondering what that thing was. <laughs> Seems real sick, yeah? Not even over here, because I'm gonna get sick too if I keep watching him. So I'm gonna go stand right next to him. Watch okay, him get sick. Just go, ahead, <laughs> just go ahead and leave. Okay, now, what we were gonna get so was I an Albert... So I gather a ton of hold potions. Up, hold up. So what we were going to get in this area, we already saved, is an Albert Primer. But, okay, go ahead and go Which down. Which was where? Go, go. Power room. Yeah, that's it. But what I forgot was the fact that I've we've technically already gotten the Albert Primers in this area. Oh, yeah, all the five. Oh, look, chocobos. Chickens. Slaves. Haven't you played a Final Fantasy game? They're sexy little birds. Yeah, they're good birds. <laughs> they're sexy big birds. That's right. You can literally end up. S that's a, that's a bit of dialogue. It's totally optional, mind you. Oh, so cute. Talk to her. Talk what to her. Can I my foot this week? Sadly, you can't. Oh, really? Go talk to her. Go. Have to choke about. They're so cute. I know. Dad off key there, my friend. What the hell? <laughs> That's the chocobo. That's a sort of really off key version of the chocobo theme. Don't worry, that isn't the. Okay. It's really off key. <laughs> but don't worry, that it, don't worry. Every Final Fantasy game, since like the third one, I think, has um has had a, a variation on chocobo's theme. It only takes a few. It only takes a few. It only takes a few seconds. I'll just do it anyway. So we don't have to kick that kick that suitcase again. Yeah. But um. So basically um. We've got us so um. Back up then. I yeah, guess. go back up. So then um essentially, so everyone has a variation on Chocobo's theme depending on usually when you're riding Chocobos. This one indeed has it, but we won't be seeing it for a while. It's still pretty cool though. Go 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 around back on the other side of the ship. Look at the world map and take a look at the seven. It's two green squares. See? Yeah, wrong one. Oh wait, by the way, hit triangle. I already know. I've win triangle again. Win in that one. Triangle again. There's another green square. One. Look. Is there anything different? Uh. No, I don't. What is it? On the left. Wait, what the? Huh? When did he get here? <laughs> <laughs> what? The, huh? Remember, he got introduced to one of you and his guardians. That's Mr. Blue over there. He starts with with sensor and piercing, mind you, and he's basically the, he's now keep okay. Now I'm gonna go. He's ahead got the same strength as T Titus right, at the moment. Yes. Now he well, he looks better than Titus at the moment. He's that right. Now, okay, go go he's ahead. He's got a much higher magic, a much higher defense, and well, pretty okay. much everything. Thing is, here's the funny thing about Kimo. Except you? for his agility and accuracy. Okay, but if, okay, let me explain him. Okay. All right. What? Go into his character. Okay. Kimo. Okay, actually, go to his fear grid. Okay. Kimoi is probably the most interesting character, okay? So if I would think he's it's, it's pretty standard, right? Wrong. His is pretty much in the dead center of the um, sphere grid. Hmm. His alone thing. What's interesting is the fact that you see that little circle? This looks like a whole lot of care Dude. Ca character management you've got to do. You see this? That like little circle? Them up. You see that little circle? Yeah. That's basically his entire grid. That tiny thing? That, that's basically Kimoi's section. Kimoi is the most interesting character in the game, you know why? Why? 
She has almost direct access to almost every character's grid. Huh. With only, like, with at the very least, level 2 key sphere, you can get pretty, in level 1, you can get, pretty, get immediately to Waka's opening grid. Or you can go down and go to Lulu's. Or with a level. Or you grab a. Hold up. Oh, where is it? Hold up. Ah, yes. With a with a, with one level with one with a um with level one two of them actually, you can actually end up going straight to Riku's grid. So yes, you can end up getting abilities that even that that of a character you don't even have yet. If you're really good, you can um again the default okay, with a level one lock you can go straight to Titus's grid. Level two you can go to Yuna's. Again, Lulu's isn't that far off. Really, the only character he can't immediately get to is his uh, Orans. Who's his kind of way far away? Yeah, let me find a what's good. Now, notice that basically almost every good in the game is pretty well centered around Kimari's grid. Cause that's where Riku's grid normally is. Okay, mm. there's Lulu's, Waka's, and uh, actually, t Orans is still technically centered on it, but it isn't connected. That's the interesting thing. Okay. This is around where Orange Grid starts. Okay? No, that's not it. This is around, um... No, it's, t it's still Waka's. Well, it's hard to find how hard to find a character's grid when you don't have them yet. This is pretty much where the character is. Follow the grid. This is basically where his grid starts. Notice the almost total lack of con connections. Again, with level 2 lock, you can get to, um... Again, you can get to Titus and walk his late game grid. Other than that, though, it's really hard to get to Owen's grid. It's really detached. See, Owen's grid is kind of stationary. It's really attached to Titus's and Waka's, really. Even though it is still centered around Kimori's grid, it's still pretty similar. But he, we don't have him yet, so it's not that big of a deal. Kimori is pretty much the ultimate customizable character. You can literally take him into virtually anyone's grid. Hmm. So he plays however you want to play him. Yeah. I've, okay. th I've thrown him through Riku and Yuna's grid, so we end up having crap for attack, but he could use good some powerful healing spells. It looks like you have to do a whole lot of character management. Kim always got the most character management, because Kim always basically the big split path fan. Let's actually play this game. Oh, sorry. Now, there's another. Now, notice that there's two green squares. I already squares. went in this one. There's two green squares. I already went in this. No, there's two of them. You notice on the map? There's one right there. Exactly, go down. That's there. down, which I just came from, and this is the captain's Oh, players. okay, then, then go up. And around. No, the other way, other way. I mean, up, I mean, forward. I think there's a door. I thought there was a door up here. Yeah, it's gonna get kind of confusing at times. Okay, let me just run around and try to find out. Find this place, okay? Mm hmm. Try to find it here. Sorry for the almost total lack of progress in this episode. We're, this this one area is kind of really easy to get lost in. It kind of sucks that way. Let's see it. Go back in here, see if I can do anything about it. <coughs> yeah, this, this the, the ship is kind of a chaotic place. I Pretty much every time I go through the game, I get lost here. It kind of stinks like that. Lost flying plotline event! Pretty much, it sort of boils down to run around and try to figure out where your um, room is. Well, let's go to talk to everyone, everyone in board first. Wait a minute, was there a chest in there? I already checked that thing. Oh no, I didn't. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Again, what's the time? Can you check the time. Why do you still have your shoes on? Uh, oh, there's another walk on event. It's actually nine minutes. Ah, oh, another plot event. We gotta keep on talking to these characters. Uh, and he came back. Too bad. Speaking of hair... <laughs> Standing idly by. What's with that hood anyways? What? You mean her hood? He's up. Uh, yeah. Well, I guess it's a bit lacking in the imagination department. 
I think all of it. I think, all those great eyes. I think the rest of it. I think the rest of it went to his neck. Mmm. Mmm. Put my soda down. Oh, everyone's moving. Yep. Go talk to Yuna now. Now that the roadblock has been cleared. Sure, why not? Um. What? What? Then I'll kick you with my hands. Yeah, ha. Oh. It's obvious we only got our voice actors at the last second. His pants are really. Weird. I got picked up on the street and asked to do asked to to, to speak this part. He has really bar, 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 bar. He has really weird pants. Just saying. Everyone does. <laughs> this is Spira. Home of the weird pants. Home of the weird outfit. Please don't tell me she's gonna jump off the boat. It's Titanic. It's Titanic. No, it's Titus. It's Titanic. Wait, Titus. Dude, just no. Just shut up. Tide dab bay bay. That doesn't work. Just, dude, just don't even try. What is with that hood? Oh, you mean that weird white hood that looks like you randomly taped it on? Yeah. <laughs> like it's barely a hood. Conversation expert! Because <laughs> I've never felt the wind before. Expert of conversation. Uh, gotta start a conversation with this guy. Oh, and... By the way, Titus grinning can be kind of creepy. It ends up looking like he's got like a mouth going on. Mm -hmm. Random. Ha 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 ha! Yes, the wind is incredibly funny. The wind feels nice. We must laugh about it now. Oh, do not. Oh, be warned. That's funny. When these guys laugh. Ha 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 ha! Just wait. Sounds evil. Oh, by the way, he's wearing he's wearing jet symbol. Yay! His his clothing just looks odd. Yeah, he has jet symbol all over him. Jesus. Yeah, he, he looks he, like he has fish netting on his. He says he says he hate he says he hates his dad. He's wearing his symbol like three points on his body. What the heck? Yeah, how do you know that? Tell me, woman. Speaking of jet. Crap. It's my it's my father. I hate that guy. That's why I have my symbol on my back. I have a symbol on my back. And my necklace. And, and my, my pants. pants. <laughs> <laughs> That's so awesome. Yeah, Yuna for all her interestingness, her character is kind of really flat in this game. That's pretty much the one reason she isn't the main character. Her character is almost totally flat. Virtually no care. Very, very, very little character development. <laughs> she gets tons of it in Final Fantasy X2, which I may be convincing him to play late to, to play after we beat this one. If, Yay! If we beat this one. Yay! Skimpy girl dress up time. Well, well, hey, well, hey, again. What, what, what the guys can watch My Little Pony? I mean, I mean. Hey, you're never supposed to say <laughs> that. Well, I guess. Yeah, we watch My Little Pony. I honestly, I honestly, I can't, I can't think that that's gonna be as bad. Those who haven't watched it or are watching this video, to be fair, it isn't as bad as it thinks. No, we don't need to go into Peroni speech. Okay, fine. Let's just wait a minute. Do this game. Is this um? I think this might be Owen. No, this isn't Owen's thing yet. This is one of the. Really, this is a super important plot event. Wait, is that some kind of big ballista on on the front of the boat? Uh, yes, it is. Yeah. What are they trying to do? Spear whales or something? I'm not gonna answer that. It's sin! Shoot that thing at him! Anyway, so. Oh, by the way, we just ignored an entire one plot event. Basically, pretty much for those who. Whoops. For those who are rather listening to us than then. Oh, oh yeah, never mind. <laughs> we <laughs> Totally! Oh boy. Now we have to. Now, now we all get attacked by sin. Uh, yeah, you know how you said spearing whales? How, how was I so right? 
Sin is basically best described as a giant space whale. Alright then. So... This should come in handy! And E. Dude, just... Did his fingers just go through her fingers? Ah, my writing glove! <laughs> Fire the ballista! Dang it, my writing glove is so slippery with ink! Wait, did it just go suddenly to... FMV... Uh. Yep. Go from FMV to and then this? that. <laughs> what? I think it's just oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, standing there weirdly. <laughs> just going to FMV and back just to avoid having to animate Kimari. <laughs> See? <laughs> <laughs> wow. How how did I know? How did I know they? Were that, that, did I? Did I, I? I have some weird mental powers, don't I? I mentioned the ballistas on the ship. Pony power! Wait, so I mentioned the ballistas on the ship, I mentioned them firing at whales, and then. I don't know. Still. Aim down the sights! Ugh! 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 Yay, FMV again, for no reason. Yeah, you just basically spew to God. Have fun, have fun dying a horrible, painful death. Ooh, whale. <laughs> yeah, that's what Sith actually looks like. Instead of the giant, giant sphere of water at the beginning. And then we all died. The end. Game over. I have silver hair now! <laughs> oh, look. Now its scales are going to come in... Okay, now I have now I have something to point out. Us. Now there's something I have to point out about this part. You know this? Mm -hmm. Right here, the point is to attack sin and ignore the sin scales because you can't actually damage them because they just have infinite sin scales. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now Titus is overdrive. Mm -hmm. Basically, in order to get more overdrives with Titus's, you um, you basically have to use the previous overdrive as much time as possible. Okay. Here there are infinite sin scales. Did they not really damage? Again, you can pretty much kill kill them all in one turn. You know what this means? Wait, even with a whack from not with you know? Yuna, but with every all the other characters, just have Waka come out here, basically you can one shot all of them mostly. Really? Now again, put three, put two and two together. Just spam the, these guys. Just spam the overdrive. Many people have actually gone through this game and just used the overdrive on, on here over and over again, and you can literally end up getting Titus's final fourth and final overdrive. Before you even get, before you pretty much right after you left the basic tutorial areas. Wait, do I get any source of damage taken if I just keep on killing these things? Nope. Sin can't attack. Wow, really? You know yeah. what? I'm just gonna kill them all just real fast because I feel like it. Again, you're not gonna insta kill oh. them right now, but you're gonna do pretty much, and their damage up is crap. These are the guys you attack. These are pretty much the same guys you attacked in the opening with Titus and Orin. Okay. You know those weaklings. And Sin isn't done, is basically just going to make is just going to make really cool motions every now and then. It isn't going to do anything. Miss <laughs> again. You can basically sit here and do this all day if you really want to. Wow. What was that? Crit. Crit. <laughs> wow. So yep, you can literally get Titus's final overdrive right By now. By doing this. Yep. Infinite, and I can you and I can stand the Attack the fin! Because Titus is the world's best shot. Wait, what? He can throw this. He can throw a rubber ball and damage the uh, god with it. Yeah, just watch. Go ahead and hit. Keep, just keep on doing Hickerson scale. Actually, lance it, lance it. Hmm? Special. That's a cool ability to see later. You Wait, can, who, who am I controlling? Oh, Kimari. Kimari. Lance it. Yeah. You can lance at anyone. It's a, it's a ranged attack, technically. What the? Go. Oh, it's got 2,000 HP. It just keeps coming. Alright. What? 3 HP, 3 MP. Pretty sweet. Dude. I'm gonna make some more cool motions now. Pretties, dude! Wow, they've got pretty terrible attack accuracy. No, you just got awesome evasion. Yeah, we can do this all day. I think I'm going to end the video here, and we're just going to spam these guys for a little while. We'll be back. We won't spam it too much. Okay?
It's just too cheap for that. We're gonna get a, a bit of free XP though. See ya.